Hey guys, it's Daniel. Um, so, something happened to me interesting on my way in today. Sun's casting a wicked shadow. Um, I am just driving along, minding my own business, listening to my music, have my radio turned up, and a police officer comes up in the center lane next to me and motions for me to roll down my window. So see, I have no idea why he's wanting me to roll my window down. I was following all the laws, following the speed limits, doing things I was supposed to do to make sure that I don't get in trouble, because I already had one speeding ticket, and I don't need to get another. So I roll my window down and turn my radio down, and listen, and he shouts across the cars that I need to get off my phone and drive. Now, see, here's the funny thing is, my phone is hooked up to an aux uh, and an FM transmitter, this, and it plugs in using this to the top of my phone, and then I just shut my phone down and let it play. Because I'm not an idiot, and I don't want to die in a car crash. So, I'm sitting over here, and wondering why he's saying to get off my phone. And then I realize, I'm driving a manual transmission, which has a stick shift and a clutch. Clutch. Um, so, he must have thought that the manual transmission, which I constantly am having to change gears because of the way the speed limit works there, was my phone. And that I was playing on my phone instead of paying attention to driving. <laughs> Which, that's very interesting. I never thought that would happen. I think it's happened once before where he mistaken uh, me driving a manual for having my cell phone out. Because when I'm shifting, I'm not mainly looking at the road. And I kind of move a little bit in either direction just because it's a movement. I man, there's really no way to block the sun. There we go. Um, so I'm sitting there just minding my own business, driving along. He tells me to get off my phone. I look over him and say, sir, my phone sits in my passenger seat where I don't touch it because I don't want to die in a car crash. I think you may have mistaken me playing on my phone for me trying to drive a manual transmission. Um, and so I'm yelling that to him across the cars, um, which was interesting. He said, oh, I'm sorry. I just thought you had your phone out because the way you were driving, it seemed a little interesting, a little sparingly. Um, I didn't mean to, like, alarm you or anything, I just rather would make sure that you were, you had your phone off, rather than have to, um, go find someone to tell them that you had been hurt in a car crash. So, I wish to thank the police officers, um, for doing that, just to help keep us safe, um, and I understand that, yes, I'm driving a stick shift, so that does tend to make me look a little more suspicious, because my hands are always moving down somewhat here, um... So, but again, I want to thank the police officer that pulled me over. I didn't catch his name, unfortunately. Um, he was a severe vocal cop. Um, but I'd like to say thank you for watching out for us, for the citizens, and keeping us safe, and making sure that nobody's going to get hurt, or that nobody um, is going to crash their car. Uh, I wish to thank you for that. Um, and again, I thank you, uh, even though your job is hard right now, for constantly doing your job as you said you were going to do. Um, and doing it to the best of your ability amongst major criticism from different groups and people saying that you're not worthless or that you or that you are worthless or that you um, or that you're uh, just an evil person. I mean, they're not just terrible people, guys. If you get pulled over, yes, it sucks. I've been pulled over. It scared the crap out of me. Um, but don't just be a jerk to the cops. I mean, he is doing his job just the same as you would do your job. So, think about that next time you get pulled over. He's not just that one guy out to get you. There's a lot more that he does behind the scenes that you'll never know. So, again, I want to say thank you to that police officer. Um, and thank you to y'all for just listening to me tell this hilarious story. Um, it happened, I just thought you guys would like to know um, one interesting thing that happened to me on my way in. So, uh, other than that, this video will probably post later today as it is barely 8 30, almost 9 o'clock in the morning, and I'm not going to get the chance to post it, but time is it, actually. Your winner, you it is... In fact, yeah. It's really just people with flashlights. <laughs> um, we give you as a fact. 8.47. Um, so I'd like to say that. I'll probably have this posted sometime this afternoon. So, um, also, I know one of my buddies and I want to go do some pictures for my Facebook page. Um, a guy, a girl, a ranger... Um, my friend Emily 
does not want to do pictures immediately, so it might be like a couple of weeks or maybe longer, I hope not, before I can actually get her to shoot photos with me. Um, we'll see. We're both a little busy right now with her probably starting a new job soon. Um, and I already have a job. Um, so, but we'll have to see how it goes. Um, I'm hoping that she'll want to take the photos. She said at one point she was a little, like, unsure about it, but I'm, I'm sure she'll want to one of these days. Um, but until then, I will talk to y'all and, again, look at the page. Um, I'll probably have some photos shot off my phone posted later today. Um, other than that, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.